Over the years, people have made some mysterious discoveries. The most recent one comes in the form of this odd-looking stone sculpture. It was discovered in North Carolina and it's said to have archaeologists confused. Mary Beth Fitz, who's an assistant state archaeologist with the Office of State Archaeology, said the following about the discovery. It's actually the first time we've encountered it, and that's why we don't know much about it because we've never seen anything like this before. The mysterious stone was discovered by a man who was ploughing his field. He said that he hit an object and thought it was a large stone. However, when he picked it up, he said he had no idea what it was. They said the following. The plough hit the stone and I picked it up. I then placed it on the edge of the field. After flipping it over, I noticed it had a face. Mary then created a 3D model of the stone sculpture and placed the images on social media for people to see. However, as of right now, no one seems to have any idea as to what the object could be. Mary went on to say the following. It really is mysterious. We don't know what time period it's from. It could be a piece of ancient art, or it could have been made a long time ago. It's made of sandstone and that's pretty soft, so you don't need special tools to carve sandstone. So that means it could have been carved any time in history. The earth holds ancient remains beneath its soil, and over the years many have made it to the surface. Some are valuable such as gold, but others sometimes leave us scratching our heads. Fossils are formed in a number of different ways, but most are formed when a plant or animal dies in a watery environment and is buried in mud or sealed. Soft tissues quickly decompose leaving the hard bones or shell behind. One alleged fossil discovered in Utah had many people puzzled, and it reminded a few of the stone structure we just talked about. When you think of Bigfoot evidence, you usually think of footprints or photographs. However, a resident from Utah believes he's discovered the fossilized head of a Bigfoot. The resident said he made the discovery while searching for fossils. He was digging around in the dirt when a strange rock caught his eye. After shifting through the rubble, he turned the rock over and was surprised. He states that a face was staring back at him. Kenneth Carpenter, a paleontologist, said the following. I think that while it's an interesting find and it certainly looks intriguing, I'm pretty sure it's just a rock. I'll admit it's the most headlight rock I've ever seen. However, there's no doubt that the object is a natural phenomenon. Over the years, archaeologists have done an incredible job bringing the past back to life. It's allowed us to reconstruct what certain objects and civilizations would have looked like. One of the most famous ancient civilizations is that of the Egyptians. Recently, however, archaeologists have not been happy with the selling of what they call an important part of history. On the 4th of July, an ancient sculpture of King Tutankhamun went up for auction in London. The genuine piece was expected to fetch a high price, and it did exactly that. The winning bid was over $5.9 million. When it comes to selling these kinds of artifacts, there isn't much support coming from the archaeological community. This is because researchers would rather have them sitting in a museum where people can see them, or having them studied. Egyptian officials have spoken out about the sale, and said that not only is it wrong, but they think it may have been stolen. It's no secret that Egyptian tombs were robbed in the early days. In fact, Egyptologists have said this would have been a business for some as they would have raided the tombs and then sold on pretty much everything they discovered. Because of the high amounts of gold the Egyptians used, when it was sold the buyer would have most likely melted the pieces down, as no one could then trace it back to its original place. With that being said though, this sculpture is not gold, it's made from brown quartzite. Although there are a few marks on the sculpture, archaeologists have said it's in great condition, the sellers of the sculpture said the following before it went up for auction. This face is recognisable among a thousand Egyptian royal faces. We are honoured to present this head to auction for the first time in history. It's been very well known on the market, and has been published and exhibited many times over the past 35 years. 
as mentioned though protests have come from not only Egyptian officials, but also from the public. The former Egyptian Minister of Antiquities said the following, They never tell us about its origin, about how they brought it from Egypt, and who has ownership of this piece. They have no evidence of that, but we do think this is a part of our heritage. This is a black day in the history of archaeology. Egyptian officials are now looking at launching an official formal objection, in the hopes of getting the object back, as they believe it shouldn't be in the hands of a private collector. Over the years, Vikings have fascinated archaeologists and scientists, and every so often we discover some ancient artifacts from their time period. Researchers have said it gives us a fascinating insight into the everyday lives of Vikings. During their era, the Vikings could be found all over Europe. We have heard of the stories of Vikings being tough and raiding other nation's coasts, but what some may not be aware of is most of them brought families to Britain looking for land to farm. Good farmland couldn't really be found in their own countries. The parts of Britain where most Vikings settled were northern Scotland and eastern England. When people picture the Vikings, we usually imagine them as being giant men hurling around anything they can get their hands on, but recent discoveries may disprove this. It turns out the Vikings may have had more sophisticated types of weapons at their disposal. Researchers made an interesting discovery using ground-penetrating radar. The archaeologists from Norway said they discovered an ancient Viking ship buried underneath a farmer's field. What's incredible is that it was only 20 inches in the ground. It's not small either. The researchers said the ship is over 60 feet in length, and was placed there during what would have been a funeral ritual. The ship is in good condition and even contained the remains of a high-ranking Viking warrior. The ship was discovered in southeast Norway in the farm where it's found is located close to a busy Norwegian freeway. The archaeologists and researchers were able to discover the remains using state-of-the-art ground-penetrating radar. What's special about this discovery is that it's the fourth fucking ship barrel to ever have been discovered, with some researchers saying that only a few of these barrels have been discovered, and that every time one shows up it gives them a fascinating insight into the Viking culture. Another ancient artifact researchers have studied is known as the Elfbert Sword. This sword has been discovered in a few locations across Europe, and researchers have been able to trace it back to the Viking era. It's been suggested by specialists it was created by someone who was extremely intelligent, and who had a great understanding of metals and welding. One thing that's confused researchers though is that this sword was created using an incredibly strong metal, and they can't figure out how this individual was able to achieve this. As of right now though, researchers are just thankful they're able to find these ancient relics, as they've helped us to better understand the Viking era. The most well-known space station is the International Space Station, which is a large spacecraft that orbits our planet. Over the years, astronauts have called this place home, with many of them taking breathtaking photographs of our planet. Going back in 2019, Astronauts witness an event unfolding on our planet, and quickly search for their cameras. At first it's confusing as to what the phenomenon is, but astronauts on board immediately knew what they were looking at. A massive cloud started to fill the sky and those on board knew they were looking at a live volcano eruption. It's one thing to see this on the ground, but the team on board couldn't believe they were seeing this from space. The volcano created a massive cloud of fire and ash, which spread thousands of miles in all different directions. One of the great things is that this was the Ryokoke volcano that erupted. This volcano can be found in an uninhabited area of the Kura Islands, which can be found off the coast of Japan. The International Space Station crew managed to quickly get the photographs sent back to Earth, after which they were shared with avid space fans across the globe. This led on to NASA saying their scientists is studying models of doomsday events. One of the most likely to cause devastation on our planet is that of an asteroid impact. Recently, on the 7th of January 2019, 
a near-Earth asteroid flew past our planet. This object is being called 2016 AZ-8. It's known as a small asteroid in a near-Earth object of the Apollo group. Astronomers think that it's around 400 meters in diameter. This object was first picked up on by scientists in late 2016. However, earlier images were found by the WISE telescope and these dated back to 2012. Astronomers in Puerto Rico were able to watch the space rock as it came close to the planet. Incredibly though, while observing this asteroid, they noticed it had a moon. It flew past Earth at a distance of around 8,600 kilometers, or 5,340 miles. Although this sounds like a massive distance in terms of space, this actually came quite close. Back in 2018, we saw more than 91 near-miss hits of different asteroids of all sizes passing by our fragile blue planet. The worrying notion of this number is that of the 91 asteroids that passed by us, only 30 of these asteroids were seen coming prior to their passing, and only two of those were discovered one year ahead of their near-miss event. This means that for more than 89 of the asteroids near striking the Earth in 2018, only two of them could have been prevented with our current technology, showcasing just how fragile and dangerous these large celestial bodies can be. The moon has been observed by humans for eons. Our prehistoric ancestors would have looked to the moon and the thousands of stars that litter the sky. Ever since these times we have wondered what they are, and if one day we would ever be able to reach them. It's known that the moon is the second brightest object in the sky after the sun. Due to its size and composition, the moon is sometimes classified as a terrestrial planet along with Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. The moon was first visited by the Soviet spacecraft Luna 2 in 1959, and it's the only extraterrestrial body to have been visited by humans. In the summer of 1994, the moon was very extensively mapped by the little spacecraft Clementine, and again in 1999 by the Lunar Prospector. In recent years there has been a special interest in the moon as various space agencies have expressed interest in returning. NASA have announced that they've collected a massive amount of data on the polar regions, and they say these shallow craters may contain more water ice than previously thought. Interestingly, scientists have also said these water deposits can be found on other planets, such as Mercury. As you can imagine, NASA are very excited by this discovery as it comes just in time before they start sending people to the moon again. The discovery was made by NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and Messenger spacecraft. One of the scientists who was working on this discovery said the following. We found shallow craters tend to be located in areas where surface ice was previously detected near the south pole of the moon, and inferred this shallowing is most likely due to the presence of buried thick ice deposits. NASA have said the main reason these deposits are here is because the sun never makes it over the horizon near the poles, so this ice just sits in these craters. It's also said the poles of Mercury are one of the coldest regions in the solar system. As mentioned, people are now wondering if NASA will be able to use this newfound water to their advantage. NASA have said they're working hard to try and get astronauts on the lunar south pole by 2024, and it's being looked into if humans could use this water while they're conducting their missions. As of right now though, NASA is still carrying out extensive tests before they head back to the moon. This comes in the form of scanning the moon and ensuring all their equipment is at the highest standards. It just goes to show we still have much more to learn about our solar system, let alone the universe. So what do you guys make of this discovery? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.